Okay, welcome uh, to this new gameplay. Um, this is a, a super particular game. Um, it is uh, Don't Look Back by Terry Kavanagh. Uh, I will explain um, uh, just a little bit uh, before um, uh, starting to do the game. What is uh, Don't Look Back and uh, who is uh, Terry Kavanagh? Uh, Don't Look Back is uh, a flash game that uh, I discovered in um, a congregate site. Okay, uh, what are flash games? Uh, maybe uh, some some people uh, can simply don't know uh, what uh, they are. They are um, quite uh, generally quite simple games. Maybe uh, some of them grew uh, and became um, quite uh, um, more complicated. Anyways, um, uh, flash games started to uh, to grow in popularity in 2000 years with the ADSL with the a fast connection. Uh, flash games are called in this way because uh, um, they are um, based on flash, that is a sort of uh, engine that uh, makes them go and create flash games is quite easy. So many people um, created their, um, their games and published it um, for playing for free on uh, some platform, just uh, as it, uh, I said, uh, congregate. But there are some other apps, just uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, there, there were a lot. Yes, the, the fact is, uh, in um, around 2017, uh, Flash was uh, abandoned because uh, there were a lot uh, more better engine, just like uh, um, Unity, Unreal Engine, and so on. Um, Yes, uh, the fact is that some of, mm, of uh, Flash games can be still played today, uh, but uh, they need some special uh, uh, programs. Uh, they can't uh, go automatically just like in 2000s, but uh, um, is that so? Um, no, it, this is so I, I meant. Um, okay, um, who is Derek Kavnag? He's um, uh, simply a um, video game author. Uh, that uh, created some really particular uh, games uh, and Don't Look Back is uh, my top uh, favorite uh, uh, games. I played uh, a lot, uh, of course, in 2000s uh, since uh, uh, they were the first years uh, I got uh, internet at my home, so <laughs> I played uh, really a lot of them since uh, they were free and some of them were super um, uh, entertaining and so on. Okay. Um, Yes, um, f uh, completing the the fact is that um, Terry Kavanagh is uh, famous uh, mainly for doing Super Hexagon, that is an um, arcade um, <laughs> crazy super fast um, um, infinite game, but uh, there are some other really cool uh, he did, for example he did uh, a VVV, VVV, that is a strange platform with uh, platformer with um, an inversion of uh, gravity uh, mechanic and many others um you know just like the last one he did uh, it was uh, dicey dungeons that is a sort of uh, sort of uh, um, strategic tactic uh, game um, based on dice so uh, basing of um, what uh, number numbers um, uh, you roll with dice you can get different uh, uh, things happening and so on. Okay, um, in in a roguelike uh, or roguelite, I don't know a uh, style. Okay, uh, I think we can start. It is don't look back. I hope <laughs> volumes are okay. Um, let's start. Okay, this is don't look back. It has uh, let's see vol volumes. I maybe throw a little low the game volume. I prefer to have it quite low, but it's better. Okay, you can hear now simply um, Sound of Rain, nothing else. The graphic is uh, minimalistic. There are four colors. There is uh, the black background, the dark red that is the ground, the um, uh, light red that are some items, and the uh, light pink that is uh, our hero. Okay, we can start with mouse. Okay, great. Um, yes, press arrow keys to move. So, um, it has uh, some min minimalistic style, uh, just you can see the rain uh, is uh, super minimal, but uh, uh, super effective, super uh, interesting. So, you can't go to the left, and he's uh, seeing this tomb, this uh, gravestone. Uh, what uh, should would, would it be? 
um, uh, the, the starting is cryptic also the the ending part is cryptic but there are uh, some ideas some um, links and so on so we can proceed to the next area every time usually uh, we go to a new area area um, things restart anyways we can use the up or better z um, button to jump and we can see for example these columns uh, we will see what uh, they are okay uh, this cliff since we can't we can't uh, go a lot um, further to the left <laughs> we jump and luckily um, there is no jump damage okay now i um I throw low the volume maybe a little more i prefer the music uh, uh, starts minimalistic uh, uh, said this uh, this snake uh, this is the way to avoid it okay next we we get this uh, uh, this gun we can shoot with the x button and these uh, are some jumps we have to be really precise to jump um okay okay this is a cave a bat luckily he has only one of life these are better to avoid in this way as you can see as i told uh, this is the spider um, every time we reset uh, we go in a new area it resets this is one of the ways to kill the enemies we can go we can be also here very precise to um, climb these um, uh, this uh, shields uh, the spider this is uh, my way um okay this we can we should be very precise we should uh, kill the um, the bat on the left then the snake with the three uh, shoot uh, shots and um, the other bat okay this uh, uh, need to be avoided in this way okay if someone uh, likes to um, um Salute me, it's okay. Okay, uh, this uh, a lot empty, another cliff with a big, uh, big jump. Uh, okay, this is the dark part. We can proceed, but in this way, um, there are many ways we can uh, avoid them. In uh, uh, there, there was a, a way to just like this. Uh, this uh, the spiders but uh, here um, there is a, a hidden uh, uh, there are hidden stairs so we can go in this way uh, just wait for the spiders I want shoot uh, shot to kill them okay this is a, a quite um, strange part the way is to go here then wait and jump a lot we should be very careful to jump at the, the correct pixel we um, go um, at the normal level okay this is uh, another effective uh, scene there is this uh, strong light with only three colors but uh, really effective the music changes the the sound the sound changes okay this is the lava section is uh, interesting uh, it has uh, platforms just like uh, mario that uh, falls down we have to be uh, really fast and uh, precise and jump on the last pixel <laughs> available and here uh, I always fall into the lava but um, luckily uh, we are um, here okay th this other platform is different from the, the other ones it doesn't crumble but uh, it appears and disappears at uh, the, the same time and we have simply to um, know the timing okay th uh, the, the second one is, is more intricate but luckily uh, we appear here okay now we have to wait that uh, it uh, is still appearing that uh, jump 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 and jump and at the end now we have to do like this and wait jump and jump okay it was a bit tricky but uh, super cool in my opinion okay also precise precise jumps and yes we are near to the first boss i hope the volume is not uh, too strong too, too loud maybe not okay the the first time uh, he jumps uh, high the other times he jumps high and um, um, far uh, far and uh, we have to uh, we can shoot him only on the back and this uh, is uh, the the low the low movement we have to jump it yes I 
I talk a bit loud because I have it loud in my ears, but uh, I hope to... Um, the, the the um the item to um, to throw it uh, go it down is uh, is uh, far anyways uh, we can kill them from far uh, these are tricky uh, so uh, the correct way is to do like this is a bit strange but okay okay this uh, there are infinite bats so uh, my way is to kill uh, one at the right uh, at the left then do like this and uh, no for for Okay, okay, this uh, wasn't... Uh, okay, okay, this monster can be a little uh, tricky, but uh, my way is uh, two shots. Try to avoid... Uh, try to avoid the rocks. Only two shots. Yes, the other effect is, is that uh, the gun takes some time to, to shoot. Anyways... We shoot two times, then one time avoiding the, uh, the rocks, and the uh, uh, fourth time uh, shooting, we simply stay down. Okay, this uh, is interesting. Another fall. Uh, the way uh, I find is you go to the left of the, this monster, then you go here and here, like this. Okay, this uh, an is interesting. We wait for the second, jump third, just wait, uh, jumping here and jumping here. Okay. Okay, uh, it's interesting since uh, we can uh, avoid to kill the, the lower rung since it can be hard to avoid uh, his rocks. Okay, that's okay. Jump and jump. Good. Uh, okay, this is, is the next one is the hardest uh, level. Okay, this is uh, this uh, big boss. We will understand uh, at the end uh, who it is. Anyways, um, the way is uh, to jump. Uh, uh, fast. The, the fact is when he has uh, three uh, or two lives left, uh, he uh, starts doing this uh, kind of attack and uh, he still uh, spawns monsters, a lot of monsters. So the way is uh, to go, uh, go uh, do the fastest way possible. And um, also, um, falling down, uh, we can uh, uh, shoot him uh, twice before uh, touching the ground. We just wait a bit, uh, a little bit, uh, and uh, in this way, we can shoot one, and uh, it's not uh, always easy. One, and uh, uh, I waited. I uh, know uh, two is uh, so hard just now. One, and two. No, the second one. Uh, Let's go. Okay, the big boss uh, died. In <laughs> is this uh, kind of blood? Okay, this, uh, the music uh, go more eerie. And what should it be? Okay, we see a ghost, female ghost. This is automatic. Okay, we can go to the left, but if we press the right button. The um, female ghost uh, disappear. We will understand maybe later uh, what is going on. Okay, now um, we came back. This is there is uh, this uh, rope that uh, that wasn't uh, before. We go up. The, the fact is that we if we go too much to the left, um, we uh, can only uh, watch right and um, kill the ghost. So uh, this uh, would be interesting to go up here, but. Um, since we can press the right button, this is quite easy. We need uh, simply to stay under this. Okay, this is empty. Okay, this is... Uh... Uh, this uh, can be a bit confusing. This is the way I managed to surpass it. Uh, another rope. Let's go up here. Okay. Then um, we still uh, we keep uh, pressing left. It will be uh, an interesting uh, thing to do um, a long play with uh, <laughs> no death. But uh, okay, this is easy. Uh, also this another rope, and now after some empty 
since this we have to go like this. Um, it can be hard, uh, you can try many times, but uh, you have to wait um, the correct timing to, to manage. Okay, the music is loud, uh, we can go here and falling perfectly um, down, not left, uh, but, uh, else this will kill you. This uh, needs to be uh, fast, just like this. We still uh, keep pressing up. This is quite easy, uh, we have to go super fast, okay? And a bit up in, on the second rope. Okay, the cave is uh, shrinking. We go down. This is the first part, we make uh, it fall, it's better. One and two. Okay, the music uh, starts fading. We can go here. Uh, of course, pay attention to not press the right, the right button. There are these trees that uh, they weren't, uh, I think, uh, in the beginning, no. Anyways, uh, this, this rope, the interesting fact is that it is um, light pink, so maybe someone uh, that it. Next, uh, the columns. Okay, and this is the end, uh, a super strange end, but uh, there is uh, an explanation. So, um, the whole game is based on the myth of um, uh, Orpheo and uh, Eurydice, I think um, they are maybe are called like this in English. Anyways, um, it, um, it talks about this um, um, young man that uh, loved a young woman, but this young woman died and uh, ended uh, in the, um, the hell. So uh, he, the, the, the young man talked to Hades and did uh, make the effect. Uh, he could uh, uh, go uh, to save and bring to the world of living um, the, um, his loved woman, but uh, she, uh, he had um, um, he um, didn't uh, um, um, how is it say anyway he, if uh, he looked back <laughs> okay uh, watching uh, her uh, female um, lover slash ghost uh, she would um, disappear. So um, he finally accepted, uh, went to the hell and find uh, his uh, loved. Uh, he started to climb back to the world of living, but uh, at once uh, um, he didn't um, um, hear any, um, anymore uh, her, uh, her breath, her voice. Uh, so uh, he, he talked, um, he this uh, tricked him. So uh, he looked back, but uh, her uh, loved was uh, there. So um, her love uh, disappeared, and um, this uh, end, uh, end of this um, super sad story. But uh, the fact is that uh, he, this uh, protagonist, um, when uh, he arrives uh, uh, at the tomb, uh, he finds uh, himself there. So uh, there is um, a, an idea I I did uh, I made um, of um, this happening. I I mean that. Uh, he, um, he thought uh, he could uh, go to hell, but uh, going to hell to save uh, her uh, loved, um, loved uh, woman uh, would be impossible since uh, we can go to hell uh, normally uh, to do something like this, so uh, it was simply a myth. Okay, this is my uh, sad but realistic uh, <laughs> way to um, understand and uh, comprehend this uh, kind of cryptic story, but uh, in my opinion, super interesting with uh, a grip in uh, a finale. <laughs> okay, this is my um, uh, let's play. I hope uh, you liked it. If you like some extra games, please, uh, please let me know. And uh, I think I would like uh, a lot to bring another game of um, um, of Terry Kavanagh, a, a lot less uh, philosophic, uh, but um, it would be super cool. Okay, uh, anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching me uh, today and see you maybe another time. Um, if you like, you can uh, go um, to watch some videos on my channel, on the first channel, Kede Pianist, or uh, there will be a super um, interesting surprise. I will uh, announce it uh, in, uh, I hope, some weeks from uh, now. Uh, so be prepared and uh, that's all. Thank you again for... See me today and see you next time. Bye.